The lack of suitably qualified or experienced employees is a common lament among Australian businesses these days. But for those trained in the fine art of piano tuning and restoring, it's become a theme song as they look to try and pass their businesses on to the next generation. I can see myself tuning until I basically can't hear anymore. I don't ever not want to tune, I just love tuning. Just to smell the, the felts and the leathers and the, the, the French polish, I, I just long for that. Happily for John Bourget, there's a robust demand for his skills. We just find the work is just falling into our lap now. I'm probably too old for it. I'm, I'm working harder now than I was at 30. We probably could have 100 tuners or 130, 40 tuners in Melbourne, but there's hundreds of thousands of pianos. You can see it's, a, it's a, a, an out-of-kilter ratio. It was a different tune 30 years ago when the growing popularity of electronic organs and keyboards was hammering the traditional piano. The piano industry took a, a very, very bad dive. And then to cope with that crisis, the bigger companies then put off all their tradies. So that immediately cut all that, uh, the, uh, the apprenticeship system out. So that's why we don't have a lot of piano tuners and the, and the older tuners now are very, very busy. It was during this tumultuous time that John Bourget joined the trade in Perth. My best friend, he had a piano shop and he desperately needed someone to come into the shop with him. For 2,300 tune and delivered in the home. Yeah. In Sydney. In Sydney, <laughs> we can arrange it in Sydney. There'll be a slight correction and adjustment. I don't know whether what what else could be prompting it, but it definitely there is a um, an influx of piano sales. Uh, let's say from 10, 15 years ago. We're at what we call a one-stop shop. We move pianos, we tune pianos, but uh, I would say our forte would be our workshop where we do extensive repairs. It is very, very labour intensive um, because you have all these little parts to a piano. Although business is booming, John Bourget has just the one employee. I would consider David as, as like a, a senior apprentice to me. I've, I've actually trained three up in my time. The industry hasn't had a formal training program for decades. That is probably the biggest concern of the Piano Tuners Guild throughout Australia. We don't even have our own category uh, registered with the government. As a piano tuner, we, we come under the cabinet makers or woodworkers ward. Some in the industry are considering tackling the problem themselves. There could be a school being started up uh, by one of our uh, guild members. It's just making sure that when we're gone, that there will be people to look after these beautiful instruments. And he's confident about the future for the business he founded. The piano won't die. It will never die. There's too many people that have a passion for music to start with, but there's piano players that just will always keep it alive. Meanwhile, John Bourget's devotion shows no sign of fading quietly. Well, the love is getting this piano in the workshop You've got this piano which is almost almost like firewood, that's all it is. It's just rusted and bent. And then three months later you've got this beautiful restrung, polished piano that just gives you goosebumps when you hear it played and uh, you think you've just brought this beautiful instrument back to life.